Hi everyone, thanks again for joining me. My name is Yannick Degg and we're here to do another unboxing video. Today we are opening up A Song of Ice and Fire, the tabletop miniature game. This is the starter set specifically for the Targaryen um, class and the game was designed by Eric Lang and Michael Chanel and I've really been looking forward to open this one up. So let's take the plastic off and see what's inside. So here we've got again the front. I'll turn it around here so that people can see the back. And whoops, sorry, I'll move it over here so that people can see. And let's take the uh, plastic off. Yeah, this one is, uh, again, for those that uh, have either gotten the Kickstarter originally, I, I think have been waiting for this particular addition to the game series for a very long time. So, very, very excited to, um, to have this one finally be produced. Okay. Oops, sorry. Get rid of this plastic. There we go. Okay, let's take the lid off. And the first thing that we see is this card. So these are the um, powers or the enhanced powers for this particular um, house, which is cool. Rulebook. Now this would be the uh, version 1.4. So if you've had older versions, they keep updating the rulebook and providing insight and rule tweaks, which is cool. And they update it with each one. So um, the thing that's nice too is if you do have the older version but and you want the newer sets of rules, they are always available for download um, through the Come On website, which is good and uh, a value addition that Come On, who doesn't really have to do that, but uh, has them published in PDF for download. So um, nice feature that they do that um, and consistently do so every time they do some significant rules um, revision so it's accessible to all players. Again, good quality. And it's good that they go back through the entire, now this one will still be, or the entire rules. Um, they still kick, still kick it off that it's more theme specific to this house, which is, uh, again, House Targaryen. And some of the maneuvers. The text overall is pretty good. Uh, not too hard to see. There is, you know, it's not one that you're going to learn in five minutes, obviously. But the more that you play, the more that you learn. And uh, it really is a fun game, especially for those that... Um, that really enjoy, for example, Warhammer uh, 4K, um, or maybe you're even looking to introduce friends to tabletop miniatures and, and or combat, um, but sometimes are overwhelmed by uh, games like Warhammer. This is really a good middle ground because there's good strategy and um, at the same time, a great theme too that um, is knowledgeable by both gamers and non-gamers. Um, again, very thematic. You do need a fairly large table to play, um, but a great game, especially if you enjoy the theme. Okay. And always nice to have the good old rule summary that is uh, good for um, come on to do. Some of the terrain and the tokens. Flip it around. And more terrain and tokens. We'll turn it around. Whoops, easy to punch as you can see. Whoops, just falling right out here. Looks like there's three. Oh, look, see, that's how good the punches are out because it's even coming out as I take the boards out, So, um, which is cool. That means there's no uh, major issues in getting the cardboard out. make sure people can all see this okay and again these are the um, character cards if I recall that's one thing that I do detest when they shrink rate the plastic so hard or close that it's very hard to pull this it can easily damage the card which is partially what I've done here nothing major but it is an irritation that I wish that they would fix and uh, just provide some greater flexibility. So 
Again here, uh, just to show some of the cards, the Great Walls, and show the opposing side. Hopefully people can see. The artwork is again fantastic. Dothraki Veterans. Outriders. These are Dothraki uh, Screamers. Dothraki Screamers again. And a, a good old cheat sheet to be able to assist with uh, playing, which is good. Reference chart. Here again, see, they've done the same thing here. Very irritating because it makes it very difficult to take these cards off. And I mean, come on, there's a lot of things really well. This is not one of them. So if you're watching, come on, or Eric Lang, I know that um, you're not a game director for come on anymore, but at the same time, I know that you might still have some influence. So give him a heads up on this one. Yeah, you can see, yeah. And that's what ends up happening. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it just damages the cards when you're trying to get this fluid plastic stuff off. So these are the objective cards you can see on the back there. And um, again, the objectives will be random unless you're doing specific missions. So the text, not too bad. Um, it's only text, there's no artwork on the inside as you can see. Um, I don't think it's too small, but they definitely could have made um, these a little bit bigger, especially if they, I mean, there's no reason not to do these standard card sizes, so I don't know why they do that. Those are, if it was a FFG, um, you know, you're looking at the, um, I want to say it's probably the maroon or the uh, or the yellow sleeves, but I think it's, it's the larger size up for those that um, want to put card sleeves. So here you've got, uh, these ones are standard size, or uh, what I would like to call Magic the Gathering size cards. And so on the backs here, you'll see secret missions. There's a lot of those. And then siege attack cards, just so you can see. So actually, just before I go to the next one. So these are the secret mission cards. Let's go by category. That's what these all look like. And again, it's mostly text with the victory points that are potential on the bottom. Sometimes there's multipliers, which is why there's um, an asterisk or a star on the bottom. But these really are just text-heavy cards, so I don't think, uh, I don't want to spoil too much. The next one is the Siege Attack cards. Again, the back and the text for each one. Again, no graphic on these cards. These are the Defender cards. So you can see the backs. And again, text-heavy. Some icons, but it's mostly text. Okay. And then the standard cards. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. And then some of the uh, cards that are used in play. But again, no graphic design or anything like that. These are all text heavy. And then this is where there's some artwork. So going to double sided, you'll see um, the fronts and the back of each one of these are slightly different. Okay, so now you'll see here that the text here, especially when you can't catch it by the, the camera, it should be a flag that the text might be a little bit too small because I think if a camera can't pick it up, it could be a difficult uh, thing for some people to, um, to pick up as well. So um, this is Iliario, sorry, Ili Rio um, Mopadis. Hopefully I've said that correctly. And what he does, this is Daenerys, which I think is one of the key characters that everybody's been trying to get. So, um, and again, her um, text card for her card, Outrider Co.
and then uh, Screamer Co. Outrider Co. again. Screamer Co. And then this is uh, Jora Mormont. So hopefully I've said that correctly. And again, another Jora Mormont. Mormont. And again, the other very wanted card, Cal Drogo. So very excited to try these out on the table. Now, what else is included in here? Yeah, we've got dice, standard dice. Uh, now, this is a bit disappointing because the red against the black, as you can see, can be a little bit difficult. I won't take them all out, but that way you can sort of see. Um, again, it, especially in poor lighting conditions, this could be quite difficult to see, but um, not the worst thing in the world. And I think they're going more for theme there, but um, I think a different design could have definitely been done. Now, uh, under this clamshell, look at this. This is just fantastic. These just look... Okay, wait, sorry, there's some tape on these. Helps keep the clamshell closed and protects these minis. Whoops. Okay. Sorry, getting the tape out there. Okay, nice that it's only double-sided tape. Or on two sides of the plastic, I should say. So I'm just going to take that off now. Now this on the tabletop, especially if you're using one of the maps, uh, would just look fantastic. So hopefully you can see all of the riders there. Turn them around. Oops. These just look fantastic. Oh, I wish I could paint Jeepers Creepers. Do you want to paint these for me? <laughs> I don't mind compensating for great work. Um, but these just look fantastic. Great job, come on. And nice again that they've done the uh, clamshell to protect them. So those of you that would have painted these, um, they're protected without having to purchase uh, separate bags or anything like that. And now let's see what else is in here. Oh, they're doing a really good job with this. Okay, so again, when you... I'm just going to move the box here because this is all that's left. So, again, with um, with this particular game, the the uh, minis work in teams or in groups. So for this theming, it's mostly, as you can see, in quads, uh, which is cool. And for uh, what I'm assuming are some of the leader uh, positions. Now, let's have a look at what these minis all look like. Okay, sorry, got, it's got tape again. So I'll get this tape off. My apologies for this. Okay. Now, I'm hoping that it's just double side or two sides. I can take this apart. Perfect. Look at that. Okay. Now, this just looks fantastic. Now, they are all on horseback except the two leaders. So. Hopefully you can see everybody here. Whoops. There we go. Just gonna move this clamshell here out of the way. Okay, so whoops. Hopefully everybody can see. These just look fantastic. I'll rotate them around here. And uh, I know just because most people want to see Daenerys, what she looks like. Oops, sorry. And again, great detail. Anybody who's got any painting skill um, will definitely enjoy painting these. And then Drago. Oops, sorry. Let's uh, get them on the light. Oops. Again, just great quality. And again, I'll just bring this up so that you can see all of them. 
and hopefully you can see all the details um, on these minis and how good the quality really is. I really look forward to getting this on the table and trying this uh, faction out or house out. And there we go. So that was a Song of Ice and Fire, the Targaryen um, house. And if you like this video, again, please give it a thumbs up. If you uh, want to see more unboxings, please subscribe. I've got a lot more coming down the pipe. And again, have you tried this set already? Have Do you play um, this particular uh, game? Have you had interest in this game? And if you have, what's preventing you from jumping in just quite yet? Again, more coming down the pipe is specifically for expansions for this game. And again, I really thank you for watching. It's much appreciated. And we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye for now. Thanks again for Organic Dad.